And welcome back everyone, I am December 89 and let's play some more Broken Sword, Serpent's Curse, Servitors. Uh, last time I failed at spelling Aladdin. Aha. Aha. That seemed like a good name. Yep. Hey Bissam, how about this? I know it's not your name, but... Aladdin. Very cool. <laughs> That's a terrific name for my store. Hits every one of my USPs. Glad you like it. It's uh, totally You're original. You're a genius, George. Let me know if I can do anything for you. Hmm. Brand is everything. And now we have a favor with this uh, Bassam dude. Aha, Mr. Stobart. What can I do for you? Uh, let's see. Do you happen to know a good way to catch a cockroach? To be honest, George, I'm better at questions on balancing budgets within a liberal economic framework. Okay. But as a layman, perhaps I could suggest you trap it? And please, whatever you do, don't squish it. Why? Why is that? The entire family will catch the scent and arrive for the funeral. Ooh, we don't want that. You need to find a container of some sort. Then I think add this. Is this... what is this? What are you giving me? Rich tea. Oh, what's that, a cookie? Cookie! The perfect cockroach biscuit. Dry, dull, unsatisfying, and yet curiously Moorish. I'll give it a try. Mm. Dry, Glad to help. Dry, dull, and unsatisfying. Sounds like my kind of biscuit. Thank you for the cookie. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. Thank you. I really like your new sign. It's magnificent. I owe you one. I just rearranged the letters, really. <laughs> What do you think? <clears throat> I'm over the moon, George. Thanks to you, I can now sell my retro cavalcade of musical cards, brushes, souvenirs. And you know what they say, happy sellers make happy shoppers. Amazing. So what are you selling? What are you selling? Ah, I'm glad you asked. I sell all those things you can't get anywhere else in Paris. Really? Like? English biscuits, Turkish delight, French cassettes, Brazilian Betamax videos. <laughs> really unique, indeed. You can't find these anywhere else. Well, let's go back to um, Vera Security and try to catch that cockroach. We shouldn't squish it, because its family will turn up. And then we wouldn't be able to squish those either. So, cockroachy. Cockroachy. Um, biscuit. Ooh, okay, I thought it would work. I was sure a bit of food with him, but he just wouldn't eat from my hands. Why not? Ah, uh, cockroaches these days. They just trap I him. I tipped out the matches. Oh, okay. I couldn't catch it just by swiping at it. I'd need to entice it closer. I can't believe we're going through so much effort to catch a fucking cockroach. I'd made a great home for a little critter. It's final resting place. Okay, we have biscuit pieces now. Okay. Well, we're, at least we're... If we, if we get hungry, we have some food. Here, little cockroachy. Come on. I set down my clever trap. Very clever. Then, all I had to do was wait. This is um, very exciting. Will he take the bait? I hope so. Come on. Go. Go to that delicious looking biscuit. Yes. Yes. Yes! Gotcha. Gotcha. Why am I so excited over this? <laughs> you are a gentleman and no mistake. I hate cockroaches. Always ready to help a damsel in distress. A damsel in I distress. Bet you are. Can I help you? Of course. Yes, please. Do you know if there's anyone in the office I can talk business with? Yes, me, Cherie. I'm Annette, the manager. Oh, gosh, I'm sorry. I, I didn't mean... The gloves. I, I just thought... Ah, easy mistake to make. If you haven't been reconstructed, that is. Okay. Oh, but I have been reconstructed. A number of times. From the ground up. Yep. Um, bad, bad joke. Um, uh, I still want to talk to her. <laughs> what can I do for you? How about you tell us um, 
there is security's involvement with the murder murder. In it, could I just have a quick look in your back office? <laughs> That's what he what said. What do you take me for? <laughs> what? No, no. I oh I, I mean, can I look in there? Even she got it. Oh, I see. <laughs> no, you can't. It's private. It's private. There's been a theft at Le Lizard Bleu. Bleu. A painting's been stolen. Bleu. Shame. Still, I'm sure you'll get over it. No. I believe your company set up the security. Oh, no, we didn't. Oh, yes, you did. Oh, yes, you did. Didn't. Yes. Did. I've got all day. Yes, you did. But I didn't. <laughs> but I didn't. Well, we have something it that says... It says here that says... Vera was hired to do the security of the gallery. Didn't do a very good job, did you? Mm -mm. Where did you get that? At the gallery. That job was signed off. You can't say we were to blame. I was getting a bad feeling. This is the pretty place shady. Looked like a front, and the only person there wasn't helping. Mm -hmm. Maybe the office itself could give me more information. Are you done? Only I want to listen to this next race. I see. So this is basically a very shady business, a front for something more evil that we're probably going to find out soon enough. Do you want to squirt? Do you recognize it? Oof. That would take the hair off your legs. Mm. I had a boss who wore that. Know what I mean? I, I am getting the picture. <laughs> okay, I guess we have to distract her somehow with a biscuit. I've got a cookie. You want a cookie? Those dry things are disgusting. You're disgusting. Okay. Thanks. <clears throat> Thanks. So, she mentioned that she wants to hear the race or something, so we probably have to meddle with this. I want her black book. Oh. Hands off, mister. Hey. Can I just have a look? A tiny one? Certainly not. That book is very private. Private. Okay. Radio. Do you mind? I'm listening to the race. I do mind. Was watching me like a hawk. Damn it. Hmm. Ah, figured this might be it. So, um, let's call Vera Security to distract her, even though I'm quite near to her. Don't mind me. I'm just making a call. Don't mind the echo. Aha! Vera Security, we make you secure. Crackle. Pop. Pop. Um. Oh, she took the black. Bo uh. Come on, come on. Yes. I wanted to see what secrets the book might contain. There was a photo. Of course, I grabbed it. Of course. What is that? Don't mind me. I'm just looking at a photo that I had before. A very bad photo of Lane in a net. That guy sure got around. Yeah. Lane, eh? What is, what is this, Annette? What is this? Recognize this? Hey, that's my photo. That's my photo. That's you with Lane, I believe. So, what if it is? What is he to you? Oh, my Hector. Oh, God. What it is. My little Hector. Yeah, I thought you said you had nothing to do with the gallery. Yeah. Look, here's how it is. I've only been here a few weeks. I had nothing to do with that gallery job. I just delivered the paperwork. Okay. So, who was the manager before you? I don't know. She just, one day, didn't come in for work. I shouldn't be talking to you. Uh-oh. The boss told me to keep my mouth shut. Uh-oh. This is pretty bad. Yes. We still have stuff to talk to you about. So, what happened on your date with Lane? I'm not sure I'd call it a date. Oh. Ah, uh, you can do better than that, Annette. Here, are you asking me out? Hell no. Uh, no, no, I, I, I meant, tell me more. Oh, like that is it. Want the details, do you? Yes. No, no, no. Uh, look, let's just, let's just move on, okay? Um. Yeah, awkward. <laughs> are you betting on a horse? No, I just like hearing the sound of hooves. Weird. Oh, 
Well, that's unusual. I think she's sarcastic. Don't be an idiot. I get 50 <laughs> euros on lucky break. Ah, well, I hope you win. So do I, Sherry. So do I. You won't win much. The boss. Have you got his number or address? The boss. No, I've forgotten it. I mean, ah, uh, I never lies. knew it. Lies. Annette, a serious crime has been committed. You're in a lot of trouble. Yep. I had nothing to do with it. Doesn't matter. Look, I need this job. I need the money. Money. Anyway, it's only a silly old painting. No one got hurt. Uh, well, someone got hurt. Uh, someone really got hurt. They died. The gallery owner was shot. Badly? Um, you could say that. Yeah, he's pretty dead. Oh. Oh. <laughs> this is a murder investigation. Now, who's your boss? I don't know. Honest, he faxes me if he wants anything. He? Who is he? I've never seen him. Never met him. Hmm. Hmm. Don't make trouble for poor Annette. I think Thanks. I will. I was pretty sure Annette had told me all she was going to. Yeah. She sounded scared. Time to put the thumb screws on Lane. And I knew just how. How? Well, I think I'm pretty much done with this section. Am I? The stall was a myriad of retro kitsch. Do you have anything Aha, for me? Ah, Mr. Stobart. What can I do for you? Do you have uh, any items to give me? So, what else are you selling? Stop by now and then. You'll be surprised. No kidding? Uh, a response would be nice. <laughs> that cookie did the trick. Oh yeah, it was pretty good. Right customer, right product. It's a winning combination. You're okay. You're okay, Bassam. You're okay. Do you recognize these two people? Never saw the big guy before, but the lady works opposite. Mm -hmm. Have you seen anyone else in the Vera office? No, but I haven't had my shop here long. Only a couple of days. Oh. Let me give you some business advice. You might want to sell something more original. <laughs> okay, well... Ta oh, time to go. To another section. Where can we go? Gallery. Henri's apartment. Dead guy's apartment. Which one is it? I wondered if the widow had anything to do with the gallery at all. Oh, it's probably there. Let me in. Bzz. Hello? Hello. This is George Stobart. May I come up? Stobart? What are you doing here? Good grief. Is that you, Mr. Lane? Actually, I wanted to talk to you. Uh, Madame Dubois. I need to talk to Madame Dubois. I'm sure it can wait. Nope. Mr. Lane, does the name Annette mean anything to you? I have no idea what you're talking about. I think you do. Mm-hmm. If you don't let me in, I'll tell the police about your interesting connection to the security company. Yep. Oh, all right, then. <laughs> Come up, but make it brief. We are, um, the master... master blackmailer. Hello Dear again. Oh, Lord wow. George, you have a worse timing. Is this a bad time to accuse you of lying? Maybe. What do you want? I've just come from Vera Security. So? Well, there, there's an issue, but my god, what an apartment. That is a saggy butt. Tell me about Annette. Who? From Vera Security. I don't know any Annette. I think you do. I'm surprised you let your conquests keep souvenirs. <laughs> Where did you get that? Annette lent it to me. Quit waving it around, for God's sake. Hmm. Can you tell me anything about the owner of Vera? Annette told me he's some angry-looking Russian chap. Of course. We have the Russian stereotypical bad guy. Come on, Lane. 
Tell me about Annette. Tell me all oh, about right, Annette. All right. I had a fling with her, okay? <clears throat> now keep your voice down, please. Please. And you two fixed the security for the robbery? <laughs> no, nothing like that. Anyway, the, the fling was a mistake. She turned out to be rather needy. I believe you. You're not a criminal. Just a lecherous old man. Yeah, you're not a very nice Less person. Less of the old, if you don't mind. As it happens, I make a lot of women happy. <laughs> Especially when you leave them. Okay, Lane. Take off. You can't tell me what to do. Take a hike. You want me to show Bijou this picture? Bijou? All right, all right, I'm going. You haven't heard Promise. the last of me. And Star. give me that photo. No, don't give it. I want that photo. Ooh. Ooh. If Lane was telling the truth, that meant that Annette was lying. Oh. She said she'd never met the owner and was very keen to get rid of me. I wondered if she was hiding something interesting in that back office. <laughs> Are you going to introduce yourself properly? Soon. Pleased to make your acquaintance, madame. My name's George Stobart. Call me Bijou. Bijou. What a name. But yeah, guys, I'm gonna talk to this uh, Bijou, which seems like a lovely person, seeing that she has like 15 million paintings of her in her house. Uh, I'll see you next time, and thank you so much for watching.